please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of Lee v. Lee. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Mr. Lee, you and your siblings claim the defendant was not fathered by your dad, Charles Lee Sr., a former professional football player and two-time Super Bowl champion who sadly passed away 10 years ago. Is that correct? Correct, Your Honor. Mr. Patrick Lee, you are tired of the plaintiffs denying that you share the same dad, and today's DNA results will prove your case that football star Charles Lee Sr. was, in fact, your father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. What did you know about your mother's relationship with Charles Lee Sr.? My father used to come by the house all the time. You've known him all your life? All my life. It wasn't revealed to you at 10 or 12 that no, this is your father. No, You've ma'am. known him since you were born? Yes, ma'am. Did you know that he was a football star, a Super Bowl champion? Did you know these things about his life? In the beginning, I didn't know. People would come up to me and tell me, you know, your father Excuse is... Excuse me, if you... Your if, father... Wait a minute. If that's... If he had you all your life and you didn't know and you was hanging out with him... Oh, my father was the type of person he As I was tell saying, you Your Honor, before, about the story. If you were He'll asking my father, my father, father me, everybody, everybody in Harvey know, know my father. So if you his son, you don't know. You you didn't you, know at first. You didn't know. So, uh, Mr. Charles Lee Jr., your father died ten years ago. Um, why come to court now? Well, actually, Your Honor, <clears throat> my father died ten years ago, but my mom. That just, just passed away nine months ago. My mom died September the 24th of 2015. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. And we were sort of uh, estranged from Patrick after my father had died. And there was never uh, a blood test done. Okay, I want to hear from Mr. Lee. Why is it that you feel like they're questioning this now? I have no clue. If you ask me, it may be having to do something with the will or just anything Ooh. going on within our family. I don't know. He never really looked like us. And people, even in their own family, would always say to him, and I felt bad sometimes when they would say to him, oh, Tinky ain't your father, or you got that wrong. And, and he ended up coming to live with, with my mom. My mother and father, when he, I guess he's about 11 or 12 years old, his mom had, he was giving her problems or something. She dropped him off to my father, basically. My father had, was doing renovating a house or something. He stayed down in that house down there until my father had the courage to go home to tell his wife that his outside child had been dropped to him. And when my mother found out, she told him to go get him. He is a child. And then my mother allowed him and he was to bad. come there. And, and my mother bad. took him, he called my mother. Excuse me, Your Honor, that's everything. not true. Okay, it was not how off. did you come to live yeah. with them? I had been having problems with my mom, uh-huh. okay? Due to the fact that, you know, um, I didn't have a male figure around me. So I'm arguing, fighting, tearing up. So my mom's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. So she called my father. My father came to the house. She said, Tinky, I'm having problems with him. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. He said, well, I'm gonna take him with me. Let me take him and let me see what I can get done with him. In your honor, I can say this. My father would bring home a stray dog and raise the dog. (laughs) Well, this is not a dog. Right. But what I'm saying, but this is what I'm trying to say to you. I get what you're saying. Your point is, it wouldn't surprise you whether he knew definitively or not that this was his biological child. He basically would look at him as a young man in need. That was him. If it was a question then, why is my father's name on my birth certificate? Your father's name is on we, your we, birth yes, certificate. Yes, ma'am. We're not... Do you have a copy not, of that? Yes, I do. We're not saying Ron, that... Ron, can you please hand me? We're not saying that he... Listen, we're not saying that because at that time, my father was having an That's affair copy, but I want her with to his the mother. And my father did sign the birth certificate because at back then when he was a baby, you don't, you, you don't look like nobody. It was until he started getting older. older. He then didn't look like any of us. Then it became a question. My Thank father you. didn't deny him when he was a baby. Yes, so what, she, what are you trying to do? You're not making no sense. And you're you trying to make me look like I'm school. crazy. And I don't know what you I'm had, You had to go even on the All right, let's get some control. Patrick, when you just a moment ago presented your birth certificate with your father's name on it, you presented your original birth certificate, and it is signed. And it is, your father's name is listed as father. How are you feeling? I didn't know he felt like that. Don't start talking. I I don't feel no kind of way. You brought this to me. (laughs) Let me bring that. I should be standing where you at. 
Patrick, I can see this is hurting you too. Mm. Like I said, we're gonna see. Oh, man. Sir, you're not gonna out talk me here today. I'm sorry. Now let's uh, get something straight. I'm sorry. Thank you. But you're not gonna run this thing, I do. Okay. Now, in order for me to give you a chance to respond to his story, I have to hear it. Okay. Mr. Lee, was there ever any conversation and I need to ask this, about the fact that he was a married man. No. She didn't know it. Well, she didn't know he was a married man. Jesus. Now, this is how I'm gonna tell you. I'll tell you everything, because obviously these people don't... First and foremost... These people, not with these people. people. I'm sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Now with these people, you raise up in the house of Mother Mr. Mr. Charles Lee and Miss Carla Lee don't know the story, okay? Because myself and her got into plenty of arms. Your mother is a slut because she messed with a married man. And 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 I'll say it to today. So I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, I don't, I, know this. She is I don't know this, she though. Knew. I'm a baby. Because I'm a kid. she knew my father. She knew my everybody, father was my married. Been married. Everybody they've been married. They've been together since they were 12 years, years old. Was 12 but most years importantly, old. most importantly, my father knew he was married. Yeah, okay. exactly. So right. therefore, we for him we to tell my mother, he knew he was married. He's the plan. He took care of you. Okay, let's get some order. My father took care of his kids. Yo, drama queen, take it somewhere else, kid. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. We had nothing to do with this. <laughs> nothing to do with it. Well, you know what? As much as you have been talking, Charles Lee Jr. this mm-hmm. morning, I, I will say what you just said was so correct. I see you all. It, it's an emotional day. You're dealing with the legacy of your father, you're dealing with things that adults created, situations adults created, and now you and the children are living it out in the next generation. Right. And it's not easy. Because right. you don't Your understand Honor. how all this happened and what it all means. That's what I'm trying to help you understand. Now, I'm going to tell you about this situation right here. No, I don't blame his mother. Okay, and I had a real big issue with my father because I was a daddy's girl. And if you look at that screen, I look just like my daddy. Okay, I haven't seen Patrick since 2007 when they named Blinker Stadium after my father. Before that, I couldn't tell you how long I had seen him. But I tell you the most hurtness feeling is when my father died. My brother had to make him go get in the car with us. He left my father's funeral. In the middle of in it. In the middle of walked it. Down the... Got up and walked out. And Who the in the world does that? That, that, that is a lie. You know, the reason why I had to leave or I didn't get into the limousine with them was because I drove someone else's car out to the house to make sure everything was right. I had to bring that car back because that person did me a favor and they had to go to work and to school. So for them to do me a favor, I have to make sure they get their vehicle back. I wasn't refusing anything. That's what I'm saying. People put words in my mouth and make it seem like I'm the bad guy. My whole thing, this is your father's friend. Well, what he You're said... With well, well, if you, you, you listen to what he's saying, he's saying he, he's once lying. he knew he was invited he's into lying. the car he's and been, he could he go... He's coming there making arrangements with us. What do you mean now of a sudden? He, Never. It, you acting Never. like he was not... He was in the pace. So, he, well, let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Everything. Okay, but this doesn't make sense. Right. So, guys, this is why... This, and this is exactly why I sit here. Yeah. Because I hear the testimony and I can hear when it's inconsistent with the point you're trying to prove. Right. Yeah, if exactly. he's trying to be all yeah. up in the family, I'm one of the kids and right. y'all gonna recognize me, yeah. he'd have been the first one in the limo. Right. He had somebody else's car. Earlier in your testimony, you mentioned the obituary, and I want to understand that. Mm-hmm. If you take a look, it says Charles Lee Sr. died peacefully, and he survived by four children. And there are four children mentioned. Yes. And then there's an additional line, also survived by Patrick Lee of New York. Yes. And I, yes. And that was an error. But wait a minute. No, no, that, no, 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 it wasn't an error. Everybody did not know that my father had uh, outside children. Listen, everybody that just looks at this screen can understand why the writer wrote it that way. Mm -hmm. Now, I wish they would have consulted me because I could have given them better verbiage. Right. And then they wouldn't seem like... And also, 
these people. Because that's what it reads like. Well, intentionally you know, or we, not. We do that intentionally. No, I don't believe you did. At all. Now, speaking of the fact that you have to figure out how to list outside children, there is another child in question that was born outside of your parents' marriage. Yes. I'd like to hear from Kyle. Ron, can you please escort Kyle into the courtroom? Yes, ma'am. Mm. We're gonna go up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Mm -hmm. How you doing, you know? Hello, uh, Kyle. Um, thank you for joining us today. I'd like to ask you, when did you find out that Charles Lee Sr. was your father? Um, when I was six years old, um, I walked in on my mother, basically having sex with my father. Oh. Mother brought me to the side and told me that that was my real father. Oh, my goodness. Did you all ever ask your father about Kyle? I got on the phone and I called my father. He told me, hell no. So he told you Kyle was not his biological child. Did you grow up having a relationship with him? From six to 12, like, he was coming to get me, taking me out places and stuff. Like, he would give me school clothes and stuff. Like, he was there for me, basically, that I know of. Is Charles Lee Sr. on your birth certificate? Oh, man. I only got, um... Evidence that my birth certificate on my stepfather signed. Let me see that, sir. So listed on your birth certificate is your stepfather's name. Yes. And until six years old, you thought that was your biological father until your mother told you. Yes. They had a parade for my father when they named the field after him. He got his own field in Albany. Mm -hmm. I, I was there most of the, mostly older folks. And when he was that, but you never we, we didn't even know he was there. You he, never he came up and addressed the family. You just went. Your Honor? Oh, yeah. And not only, like, I've been to my, my, my other brother, Dev, like, like, before I even knew he was my brother. Like, we used to always see each other in the neighborhood. Really? Like, yeah. Just as friends, though. Like Ever since ever since me and him met, it's always been... He knows people that I know. And we chill in the same circumference. We all would be chilling. I never knew so that. So you all were brother. friends and knew each other from the neighborhood and never knew you were brothers? Yes, ma'am. And so yes, ma it's interesting to me and, and almost ironic that this young man who does not have your father's name listed on his birth certificate, yeah. you readily accept. Because and we... yet the gentleman that your father brought home to live with you all, raised him with you all, and his name is on his birth certificate... Because he thought it was. You have questions. Right, he questioned. Because Why of... is that? Because Good. of how the, the, the resemblance... If you, it, you know, I'm just gonna <laughs> say it right now. The if resemblance... you look at one, two, and three, and four, oh, you know we related. You kind of look over there, it's questionable. I have been questioning this for, since he was a baby, when he was a baby. You understand? Cause like he you said, don't I see the physical resemblance the or the features. The older he got, no. the more he start looking like somebody else's grandson. Well, maybe he looks like his mom. <laughs> no, he don't, no, he don't look like her either. Listen, it seems obvious that you all have a level of resentment towards Patrick, probably because that you knew what kind of pain your mother had to internalize to be able to raise him, forgive your father, and go on about her life. Because as much as you all say you invite him in, if you sat where I sit, you can see the energy that goes across the aisle towards this young man. I mean, it, it, can you, you can feel it. No, I'm done. I'm done here in testimony because I know that the only way we can figure out how to move forward, we got to get the results. Yeah, Ron, my bro, the I envelope, you, please. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. Now, in order to determine if Kyle Lane is the brother of Charles Lee Jr. and Carla Lee, we performed a DNA siblingship test, and these are the results. In the case of Lee versus Lee, it has been determined by this court that Charles Lee Jr. and Carla Lee are related to Kyle Lane. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do that. Thank you, Jesus. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. The next result 
are for Patrick Lee. In the case of Lee versus Lee, it has been determined by this court that Charles Lee Jr. and Carla Lee are not related no! to Patrick Thank you, Lord. Lee. Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord no, Jesus, no, no, but I love doing, you. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Please, Patrick. Contact, please step over there. If he, if he doesn't Give him a minute. Him. That was tough. And Miss Lee, I know your thank you, Jesus, was not to be evil. It, but I think it, 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 it hurt evil. him. It's the, the, no, it's the, the stress the, of not the, knowing all oh, these my years. My went through. Just give him a minute. I'm very sorry. You know, life goes on. I mean, you know, ain't nothing I could do about it, but I'm good. I just want to go home to my boys. I want you to understand that for a man to take you as a child into his home with his other children and his wife and jeopardize the family he had built, that means he had a lot of love for you. Give him a hug. Just ask. I don't want. He doesn't want I'm a good. hug right now. I'm good. All right. Well, he doesn't want a hug right uh, now. And that's okay. Please. This is where I think we begin the healing process. We have the truth, we have counseling, we have resources for you all. And we want to start helping you all walk through this. One thing's for certain, your father has left a legacy. On the field and off the field. Patrick, I wish you the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.